Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to our Harmony Islands, where in the last episode, Lanaire took her rightful place as the queen of this island, thanks to her striking resemblance to a certain goddess from one of our previous worlds. And now that she has fully grown, and she has all three colors of her gems right on her fluffy chest, we are going to attempt to continue collecting enough food to hopefully migrate islands. She's going to kind of oversee all of this as she spreads her genetics around the pack as well. She is unrelated to all of these creatures, thankfully, because we found her in the grass abandoned when she was a little baby. But she does have immunity gene B, and that's becoming another big issue in this pack. We only have a couple creatures without B, including Loresi, who is almost at the end of her life. So we need to make sure that she is going to have at least one more baby with Kirvanro before she passes away. I think we might be able to manage it. I think she'll be okay. I'm crossing my fingers anyway. We're going to see if that works. And um, I believe Marira was the other one who did not have immunity gene B in her genetics. So we need to try to breed her again. We were breeding her with Takirku back here, so we'll have to kind of bring them back together at some point. And Kiro, who was their first baby, unfortunately did pass immunity gene B, and in all honesty, his genetics are not the best. He has the no paw, he has the blindness hidden away in his genetics. So I'm hoping that they're going to be able to pass some uh, better genetics along the way. We do really need at least one male without immunity gene B, because as it currently is, every single male has B somewhere in their genetics. So that is the big concern right now. But to start, what we're going to do is have Laresi breed with her mate, and then we're also going to take a quick peek at this uh, mutation menu because we do want to make sure that they have uh, what they need. I think what I'm going to do is actually place the dots in here because we do want to see if we can also unlock the panda patterns. It's going to be like a little side project. Now that we have this gorgeous creature in our pack, we do want to make sure that we can continue passing her patterns along in the lines so that we can have a little panda family once we do eventually migrate to the new islands. But to do that, we need to probably unlock this mutation right here. So you guys have let me know in previous episodes that what we might need to do now is place the dots in here as well as the black mane, and that might unlock the panda patterns. I believe this one in particular is the panda patterns and we do have to mutate the dots and a secret unlock condition. So hopefully that's going to work out for us, but um, we will wait on that until we're ready to breed Lanair with um, somebody else on the island. Right now, let's see, which one would go best? Um, we do want to see if we can keep the no paw out of this line. So what I might actually do is leave the running leg in the 30% slot, just in the hopes that um, the no paw won't end up on this baby. And if we get really lucky and it's a male too, then that would be absolutely excellent. So let's see, we do have a lot of food to collect back here. Um, we found La Anime in the last episode too. She was one of the last wanderers that we managed to find and she had one little baby with Duke Rota who is um, sitting over here as the skeleton because he did pass away. Coca-Cola, and I think she's going to help us out quite a bit. Um, she does have the berry paw and we want to also make sure that our berry paws, our gatherers, are thriving over on the side of the island. So La Anime, you can at least collect these berries for us. Um, we have some acorns to pick up too. We have some more berries over here. Rala is getting a little bit close to the end of her life, so we're going to have to keep an eye on her. She did manage to have one baby too, LeMay, who you probably recognize from our previous island, at least in name. She does not look like the LeMay that we have um, come to know and love from the previous islands, but she does have two immunity gene Bs, which is why we're um, keeping such a close eye on those immunity genes right now. And then Roro Duke, you're way out here on the bunny burrow. We actually want to move you back so the bunnies can continue to spawn. He was doing an excellent job calling them over. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> and so is LeMay apparently. Well, we need to get rid of you. There we go. They can pick up the meat in the next turn when they have a little bit more energy. And uh, Marira, why don't we stick you right here so you can gather up some berries with your berry paw? And then Kukuduk, let's see, we can put you right here. This would be good, then you can collect um, a couple more berries at least. And we need to keep Kiro by the nest so that his mother can come back um, once she's ready to have another baby. So there we go, I think that's about it for turns. Um, unfortunately, Anaresi cannot collect anything. Again, with this no paw on our warriors, it's a particularly uh, unhelpful trait because they can't use those extra turns to gather up any food for the pack. So we do definitely want to breathe that out of the line as soon as possible and hopefully this will work. And I see another little bunny just hiding behind this tree from um, Takirku. And oh my goodness, you have a little acorn right underneath you too. So you can grab that. Um, Marasi, you can pounce on this guy and snag him up for the pack. There we go. And I think now we're ready to skip the turn. So hopefully this baby will survive. 
Um, yes, it did, and it's another spit snout, but it does have the spots. Rovan, okay. Oh no, double immunity gene A. Oh my goodness, I didn't even uh, think about that. Wow, okay. So double immunity gene A. Well, I mean, that's not terrible, considering that we do have a double immunity gene B off elsewhere. Um, and if we have a male with double immunity gene A, then we know that he can breed with pretty much anyone on the island because of um, all of those immunity gene Bs. So while he is more likely to get sick, that might help us out in the long run. Now, what I wanted to do with Lanair is possibly breed her with two males. We're going to start with Kirvan Kir since he's almost at the end of his life anyway. And we'll see if we can maybe give her line one berry paw, one claw, and um, make them a very balanced little group of children. They'll be slow, but they'll be balanced anyway. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll breed her with Roro Duke instead, and we'll see if they can give us some more uh, helpful babies, I guess. So to start with, we want you to uh, begin your slow trek over to one of these nests, I think. If we sit her over by this nest, then she'll at least be able to use it in the next turn, and then Kirvan Kir can breed with her, and then he can use the rest of his turns to help Marira pick up these berries. There we go. And then we need Takirku to kind of come down here and have another baby with Marira at some point. We do want to make sure that the um, normal eyes are in here as well as the berry paw for these two so we'll have you come down here right next to this nest and then you can sit in here and breed with him and there we go that should be good um, we want to make sure that we have strong creatures we want to make sure that we get rid of these um less helpful genetics for when we take them over to the next island. If we can take a group without any no paws, that would be ideal, which is why I'm breeding so much to try to find those like perfect creatures for us. But let's go ahead and pick up our food again because we do need to make sure we're high on this. Um, Kirvanro can sit right here and pick up some of these berries and um, you can pick up these while you're sitting in the nest with your little child. And I think that's about it for this side of the island, aside from you, Roro Duke. You can pick up these and um, come over here and pick up these two. And let's see, um, how about this side of the island? Um, there's something over here, so we do need to check that out. Rala, since you're a warrior, why don't you jump in? Oh my goodness, it's a bunny. <laughs> Perfect for our little chocolate bunny to pick up the bunny in the bushes. So there we go. And we want your baby, Kakola to pick up the uh, berries on this bush since she has the berry paw. And then why don't you come over here and help uh, collect the acorns at least? That might be a good idea. Um, Isris can headbutt the tree for you and knock down a couple more. And then we can have her pick up all of the uh, ones that are lying around her at least. We're almost at 200 pieces of food. I'm starting to think, um, hello, little bunny, are you munching on my acorn? <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe in the next episode we could think about moving islands as long as we keep this food high. So let's see, Marasi, you need to jump on this guy too. There we go, that helped. And I think that's about it. Um, you still can't collect anything, which is kind of sad. I'm really not sure what to do with you aside from just keep you around to make sure that no carnivores um, kill any of our pack members. But yeah, I think that's about it for this turn, so we'll skip ahead. Keep an eye on all of these little critters. Um, oh my goodness, yes, one did pass away. I think that was Laresi, right? Yeah, right after giving birth to her very final child, she ended up passing away. And hello, little one, you are adorable. Let's see, you have B again, unfortunately. You just can't seem to have a baby without a beauty gene B. But um, at least she has the berry paw. She doesn't have the no paw, so this one is a little bit more helpful um, genetic-wise for us. She does have the blind eyes hidden away in her recessives, but we'll just keep um, a very close eye on that as usual. So I think she's going to be the um, gatherer line because she does have the berry paw, but her brother, on the other hand, is probably more suited to being a scout since he doesn't really have... Um, a very high collecting ability as it is. He does have the big nose too, just like his father, so he should be able to help us out um, explore all of these different islands. I'm not sure if he would be one of the ones that we would take, honestly, but he can at least help us out here. Now we do need to move Lanair to this nest so she can have her first baby. Um, let's see, we'll move Rovan um, over here for now, and then she can scoot into here. She can't do any collecting, of course, so she'll just have to sit there for now. And um, all of the other pack members can collect for us instead. So Kukaduke, let's see, you can gather up these berries, I think. Um, he doesn't have a very high collecting skill either, but he can at least pick a couple of them. And um, why don't you pick up this acorn and then headbutt the tree for us? There we go. Our warriors are doing a very good job headbutting the trees, which is kind of um, unique at least. They're going to help us gather up all of those acorns. 
Um, you can grab this one and all of these berries and your little baby can pick up those again too. Um, actually, Coca-Cola, you need to have your little gem changed so we can keep track of which family you're from. Those are definitely helping. I really enjoy that we can kind of mark them out this way at least. Um, we need to change your gem too. There we go. And uh, we might actually move her out a little bit further this way so that she can protect the pack from the darkness. Because if that's going to be her only job, then she does need to be on the outskirts where she can uh, see all of these creeping and crawling carnivores in the dark. And now we have over 200 pieces of food. Excellent. So we're getting there, guys. We're definitely getting there. I feel a little bit safer knowing that we have so much food in our um, supplies, at least, because who knows what that new island is going to be like. We might have a very hard time just finding resources that we can collect from. But there we go. I think that's good. Um, it looks like we have just about all of our turns taken care of aside from, uh, I mean, if we want to attempt to breed Marira again, we might do that. Um, but we do need to check the mutation menu. Yeah, we don't really need those genetics in here for Linera's baby. So let's see, how should we do this? We have a berry paw in there because she is having a baby with our berry paw collector. So that might be a good thing to keep. But why don't we also place the ram horns on here so that hopefully we'll be able to keep the ram horns in her line. In fact, I'll swap those around so that we can at least um, be sure that they're more likely to appear than the spit snout because of course the spit snout is a very, very dominant trait. I'm hoping that she's not going to have a full family of spit snouts, which is why I'm keeping um, Roro Duke here as a backup. So let's bring some of you up here to finish collecting collecting some of these acorns and um, oh my goodness, another bunny over there. Okay, well, she doesn't have enough energy to pounce on him. So we'll just leave him over there. Just um, creeping over to check out our berries, I guess. Sniff in the air to see if there's any that he can steal. Takir, who can come right here for now so that maybe the bunny... Oh, wait a second. I can actually grab you from there, can't I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought that I couldn't because there was that little ledge there. It was a little bit of an awkward angle, but there we go. We managed to get that guy. And I think that might be it now. There we go. Let's see what little baby we get from this pair now. Hopefully it'll be something good. Oh my goodness, and he does not have the spit snout. We actually managed to override the spit snout. That is like the first time that has happened. We have a claw and a berry paw on this child, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, there is a muni gene bee though. That might be a little bit of an issue. At least she has the big body. She probably has, yeah, six in strength and she can collect thanks to the berry paw. So she is a very balanced child. She has the panda patterns locked away, so we might be able to pull them out later on. But there we go, so that's pretty good. And I would like to see what sort of baby we can get from Roro Duke too. So we'll pair them off next and we'll see um, which line might be the best. So Roro Duke, why don't you make your way down here? We're going to have to swap nests. I guess like Lanair is kind of taking over this um, group of nests over here since she is technically the queen of the pack. So we'll move Mesri right over here and then we'll have Lanair come over here and breed with him and then scoot off into this nest. There we go. So we definitely want to uh, breed her since she is completely new to the pack. Her genetics are completely new. So as usual, it's just berry collecting now, picking all of these berries off of all of our bushes, all of the acorns too, and then you can headbutt the tree again and help us out that way. Um, Actually, we might need to explore around this way a little bit so that we can uh, see all of these different acorns that fall around the tree. We want to clear out the entire place, um, including this tree over here. Rala, oh Rala, you are going to pass away soon, aren't you? You are getting so very old. At least um, your daughter is out here with you, keeping you company. And Kakola, we need to change your little dot too. Let's have you come over here so you can pick up all of these since there's a couple more berries over there. And we'll have Azriz pick this last one. And then we have all of these acorns to pick up too. So Rala, why don't you peek in this grass for us and then pick up that acorn. Um, yeah, all of these little sisters are going to be passing away and that is so sad. Oh, I hate it when they all pass away at once. Um, unfortunately, La May can't pick those berries so she can peek in the grass instead. There we go, that should be good. And we'll have her sit over here by this nest just to kind of keep um, all of the darkness out of the area. Oh gosh, and there's something rustling over there too. Oh no, that's not good. And she just ran out of turns. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure if anyone can really get there. So we're going to have to wait until the next turn to see what's in there. Maybe it's just a bunny? Hopefully it's just a bunny. But let's uh, just gather up a couple more of these. Yes, it is a bunny, all right. Okay, so the bunny is definitely scooting toward this berry bush and he probably will be able to munch away at a little bit of it. 
Um, but let's see, are there any more turns I can really take? Maybe not. Yeah, that might be just about it. So let's skip the turn and then we'll uh, grab that bunny before he can really take any of our food. Oh my goodness, look at this one though. Oh, it has the no paw, but look at you. You are gorgeous, Neurokir. And look how healthy he is. Oh, this is excellent. He might be the perfect little boy to take to one of our new islands because he has immunity gene G and D, which we really haven't seen much of on this island yet. So that is perfect. We are going to have to keep him very, very close because he is going to help us out very much as we're having situations here with um, these double immunity genes. Oh, that is perffect. Okay, so maybe we want to breed them a little bit more too. I mean, technically we could probably have like one more baby with at least each of these males. Um, we might want to start with Kirvan here next since he is a little bit older. We might do that. That might be um, the way that we go about this. But first we need to pounce on this bunny before I forget about you. There we go. And I saw that there was a bunny over here by this nest, um, this little bunny burrow anyway, but it seems to have hopped away into the darkness. So we'll just keep an eye over here. Maybe it'll hop back out and then Takirku can kind of swoop in and grab it. Oh, but this is excellent. I'm very, very glad that she's managed to kind of like fix our immunity gene problem, at least um, for the current moment. And then we need to shuffle you guys around again. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to uh, name you. Let's see, Aikoana, I believe her name is. She is adorable, honestly, even though she is more likely to get sick, she is adorable. So let's move her right out of the nest and then we'll kind of swap these guys around again. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder this time. Oh, there's the bunny again. Yeah, it'll be a little bit harder this time since these guys can't really get around very well. But um, thankfully, the nest is very, very close. So we'll have him go right here. <laughs> this bunny is just scooting around like a little secret agent, trying to like dart in and out of the darkness so we don't notice him. But let's have them breed. And then um, he scooted away. So let's see, maybe we could have Takirku kind of like pounce down here. Oh, so close, so close. So we'll leave him right there and maybe it'll hop just a little bit closer. He's kind of cornered himself, honestly. He's like a little bit surrounded. He can't really swim. So I don't know where he's going off toward the shore. Um, hopefully we'll be able to snag them up though. Let's see, there's just a couple more berries for us to collect. And um, this one, you know, Kiro, you might be able to snag this guy if he hops just a little bit closer to you. Let's see, he can attack, so he might be able to um, snag that guy right up. Are there any more turns we can make to see if that bunny will hop any closer? Um, let's see, you can grab these. Um, yeah, I think you can grab them. Oh, there we go, right over the cliffside too. I'm not sure how that really works, but that's okay. At least Kuro is managing to um, contribute to the pack despite his kind of poor genetics. So let's gather up these right here, and I think that might be it actually. Unless we have Izuris headbutt the tree one more time, then you can gather up these, and we're doing very, very well on our food. That is good to see. So Mezri, can you gather up these berries at least? Yes, you can. And I think that might be about it for this turn. Um, Roro Duke, we're going to keep very close to the nest so that he can breed with um, our queen in the next turn, hopefully. But other than that, let's see, um, you might be able to do a little bit of exploring out here just to make sure that everything is safe for us. Um, we have a lot of grass out here, so it is a little bit worrying. Um, we'll have you come over here, peek in this grass. There we go, and I think that's good. So we'll skip the turn and see what baby we get out of this pair. Oh, it almost looks exactly like her sister. I think it is exactly like her sister. Korana is her name. They have very similar names and they are basically twins. That is adorable. Okay, that's pretty cool. Even in immunity genes? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, the only difference is that she has antlers in her recessives and Korana does not. But now we can scoot these guys around Neurokir, who we need to keep a very good eye on because he is definitely coming with us to the new island. Um, we'll put him right over here for now and then we'll have to scoot these guys all around, shuffle them around yet again. Um, you can breed with her and then she can sit in this nest. There we go. So we'll have one more baby to look at before we end out the episode. And then in the next episode, I'm hoping that maybe we can think about migrating these guys. We'll have to figure out which creatures we really want to take and which ones we're going to leave behind. But I think we might be ready. We are getting um, very close on food at least. So all we really have left to do is collect our berries, all of the food that we have lying around the place. Um, you can come over here and collect those. I know that bush was full. And your baby needs to scoot over here and collect these too. There we go. We're getting there. So 230 pieces of food. That seems very good to me. We'll sit you right here to pick up these and maybe headbutt the tree for us. And then you can collect the acorns that have fallen. And I think we're just about done with this turn. Um, Kuro, maybe you could move. Let's see. 
where could I place you? I mean, he doesn't really have a very good collecting skill either, so he's not going to help that much, but at least he can sit there and collect a couple of berries in some of his future turns. Now, I'm a little bit concerned that a few of these guys may be passing away pretty soon because it has been a while since we've had some deaths. Um, actually, oh no, Rala! Rala, I forgot all about you back here. Oh no, our little chocolate bunny has finally passed away. I think that might be the second sister to pass away, so we only have is Reese, the last sister of the uh, warrior branch, sitting here by this uh, big tree, helping us knock all of those acorns down as usual. But let's go ahead and skip the turn now, and we'll see what this final baby is going to be. Um, oh my gosh, you are adorable too. It's another little boy. He does have a uni gene B, so he's not as um, helpful to the pack as his brother is, but he is still gorgeous nonetheless. And he has those ram horns, which is so cool. We are definitely doing a very good job passing the ram horns down, um, especially over the spit snouts. So there we go, guys. Very, very good. Duke Rota too. I'm pretty sure we've also had that name. And we have a little bunny kind of watching on, kind of like uh, the Lion King, watching as all of this royalty is born into the pack. We have a couple more gems to uh, change over, and I think that's it, guys. So after we collect a little bit more of our food, we might just go and dive into a brand new island. I will need to figure out which ones we're going to take with us, though, which ones we're going to leave behind. So a lot of decisions to make as we figure out the uh, future of the pack. Hopefully this won't doom us here if we take uh, the wrong little critters with us. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!